Hi everybody, Tex-Mex here. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today we're going to take a look at two browning buck marks. We got the hunter here and the contour. I'm going to shoot Norm Attack out of both of them and, and do a comparison. And the comparison is basically going to be based on the fact that uh, the contour, I have an RMR on there. This is a Burris Fast Fire 3. Uh, I don't currently have any RMRs on my carry pistols. Uh, I wanted to put one on a gun and practice it with it quite a bit before I decided whether or not it was something I'd I'd want to actually use for self-defense purposes. Uh, obviously, I've used red dots on a lot of my firearms in the past, and it was, I've always been curious as to how much better you can hit with a red dot versus just iron sights. Now, this buck mark, the Hunter, has over a 9-inch uh, sight radius, so it would have a slightly longer sight radius than the Contour anyway, but the Contour obviously obviously has the uh, fast fire on there. So we're currently at about 15 yards from a target. Uh, I'm gonna fire 10 rounds out of each uh, at the target, see how well they group, see if there's much of a difference, and then we'll probably step it back a few yards, do that again, and then maybe one more time, step it back a few more yards and see if at some point the uh, red dart starts to, excuse me, the red dot starts to outshine the uh, iron sights as, as far as accuracy uh, and precision. So it's not going to be an, a matter of how close we hit to the uh, bullseye uh, since I haven't necessarily sighted either of these in for the Norma although I shot Norma out of this one recently and it was hitting uh, pretty much on the bullseye but I haven't on this one so it's going to be precision how tight the groups are at the distances uh, between these two firearms so let's go ahead and get some rounds down range now for this comparison I am going to be resting on a bag obviously I want to get uh, well, I want to shoot them both as equally as possible, and the only way I can do that for certain is to take resting shots. Now let's get this camera leveled off a little better. There we go. So we're gonna start with the Buckmark Hunter. Oh, failure to eject. I fired quite a few rounds out of this this morning, so it may just be getting a little dirty. Again. Oh, that was a failure to load. Yeah, it's probably just getting a little bit dirty. Or maybe I didn't put the magazine in right. Give me one second. Okay, let's see how that takes care of the problem. And that's 10. It didn't lock back, strangely enough. I think it is getting a little gummed up. Now let's try the contour. Okay, 10 rounds. Let's go take a look. Okay, at this distance, we're hitting about the same. Actually, it looks like I may have a slightly tighter group with the open sights than I did with the uh, red dots. So let's go ahead and move back 10 yards, and then we'll fire at these two targets down here and see how we do. And now here we are at 25 yards. I expect we're going to start seeing a difference now just because, uh, honestly, at 25 yards with the Buckmark Hunter here, I expect that the uh, front sight will most likely cover most of the target at this distance. Let's see how we do. Yeah, another failure to eject. Another failure to eject. Okay, this is becoming a single shot 
pistol. I think it's this magazine. I'm going to switch out the magazine after this shoot. Wind's picking up. Yeah, I wasn't kidding. The wind really is picking up. <laughs> Blowing my GoPro off. So, let's finish the last few rounds out of this. Okay, I'm going to wait for a break in the wind. There we go. And that's 10. Now, the contour with the red dot. Okay, that's 10. Let's go take a look. So here we are at our target. It looks like they did about the same. I mean, you can say the red dot did a little bit better uh, than the open sights, although the open sights did well. There's just a couple up here. Uh, if it hadn't been for those, I'd say that the open sights was doing better than the red dot. Uh, they're still pretty comparable to each other. So let's use these last two. We're gonna go back 10 more yards <laughs> and see how we do. Okay, and here we are. I uh, just measured it. We're at just under 40 yards. So let's see if I can hit the target without shooting my camera down there. <laughs> so I switched out the magazine to see if it's the magazine causing the problem on the uh, Hunter. So let's see how we do. Yeah, at this point on the Hunter, the front sight pretty much covers the whole target. Okay, seem to run fine with that magazine, so I think that other magazine just needs a good cleaning. And now the contour. Let's see how we do. Boy, that red dot is jumping around at 40 yards. That's 10. Let's go take a look. And here we are at our target. And it seems now at 40 yards, it did start to make a significant difference. Um, I will say that uh, Browning Hunter, the Buckmark Hunter at 40 yards, that front sight, I mean, it covered most of this target. So uh, I was able to sort of try to keep it centered using this red dot because I could still sort of see it at that distance. Uh, but it kind of you know, would cover up most of this versus the red dot that I was able to keep somewhat more centered. And it, you've got a you know, more precise group there. This is probably the longest variance right here, which is under three inches. Um, and up here, you can see it's a much wider group uh, with the biggest variance probably being between these two here which is probably closer to, to five inches so you know at short distances didn't seem to be a big issue for me uh, this was at 15 yards my iron sights I got nice and tight the red dot you know relatively tight as well at uh, 
25 yards. Uh, iron sights was still doing pretty good. Uh, red dot was still doing pretty good. Although here you could start seeing because I hit these two up here that the iron sights were starting to uh, to waver a little bit. Uh, but once you got you know to 40 yards, you could really see that the red dot starts to shine as far as getting more precise shots out. Uh, so anyway, this is a fun test. I hope you all enjoyed and learned a little something from it. And uh, I will see you all in the next video.